In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this 2D animation in DaVinci Resolve. So let's drag a fusion composition. Head over to the fusion page. And first thing, we will connect a background. So for this background, I'm just going to go with a light color. Like this. And now we need to draw a lamp and also the light rays of a lamp. So let's draw the light rays first of all because we need the light rays to be behind the lamp. So let's go ahead and drag the a background and a polygon. And for the polygon, just right click over here and then click on remove polygon polyline. And this is so that we don't get any animations or any keyframes over here that we don't want. And then simply just connect it with the background. And for the background, let's go with a white color, which will basically be representing the light rays. And let's go ahead and start creating a shape. And for this, just right click over here and go over to guides and then click on show guides. And this will help us to draw the shape much better. So first of all, I'm going to draw this shape from here to here and here to here and then connect this. And let me just go ahead and make this a bit more aligned. All right, now let's go ahead and connect the background. So here you can see we have our light rays. Now, using this as a guide, we can create the lamp itself. But before we do that, let's go ahead and draw a bulb. And for this polygon, let's just rename this as light rays. Right now, I'm going to drag in this background and let's go with a bright yellow color which will represent the light and let's drag in a, an ellipse and go ahead connect the ellipse with the background and then for the ellipse just go ahead and decrease the width and the height for this and let's just zoom in so this will be okay and let's go ahead and connect the background with this merge so here you can see we have our light bulb and now let's first of all rename this as bulb and let's go ahead and create the lamp itself so similar process just drag in the background the polygon and go ahead and create a lamp so using this as guide i'm just going to go ahead and draw a lamp like this and let me just go ahead and align this. All right, so here you can see we have our lamp and just go ahead and select the top two points and then click on this. And this will give you a more curved shape or this will smooth it out. So now what we can do is go back to the bulb and then move this right here. And once you connect this and make sure that there are no animations over here, just remove them and then connect this with the merge and here you can see this is how the lamp will appear and you can always go ahead and change the color so with this and let me just move this over here and first of all rename this as lamp and now we're going to add a line connecting the lamp with the roof and also a line over here that will represent the switch so let's just go ahead drag in a background once again, a polygon, removing any expression, any keyframes over here. And let's go ahead and create a line like this. And you can hold shift so that this is a straight line. And let's go ahead, connect these. This, and you can change the border width a little bit like this so there you can see we have our line and we can duplicate this line and move this 
copy these two, the polygon and the background. Copy this and paste this over here. And then connect these with this. And you can move this polygon line from here to here. And you can decrease this like this. And I'm going to make this a little bit less than this line. So the border width, I'm going to decrease this even further. And let's go ahead and rename this as the top line and the twitch line. And let's also add a button. So for this, I'm just simply going to add the use the ellipse, connect the ellipse over here and in the ellipse just right click in the width and select expression and connect this with the height and then you can decrease this and move this right here and change the background to let's say red connect this over here and here you will see we get our basic layout so our basic layout is done one last thing is to create a hand that will move in and then press the switch and then the light will turn on so let's do that and let me just rename this as switch button. Okay, so let's just move this lamp over here. And I'm going to create a hand over here. And I'm going to use the same technique that we used before. So I'll just do this quickly. Alright, so our hand is done as well. And let's just rename this as hand. And this will move in, press this button, and once it does, the whole scene will illuminate. So let's just go ahead and start animating now. So we will start our animation at 15. So basically the hand will move in from 0 frames up to 50 frames. And then over here at 30, it will press the button, move it down, and then the whole scene will illuminate. So first of all, let's just go ahead and set this hand over here to press the button like this. So let's create a keyframe at 15 frames in the center position for the hand. And let's go over at 30 create a keyframe once again and then at 35 let's slightly move the y-axis down and then at 40 we will move this back up again so this will be where the switch turns on and if you play this now okay so at zero zero we need to move this out of the screen as well so let's play this now okay so here you can see that this is animating and okay so here at 15 just make sure that whatever value is at 15 copy this and go over at 30 frames and then set a keyframe over here as well so if you play this now so here you will see this is where the person is pulling the switch down so now what we need to do is let's go ahead and at 50 we will move this hand out of the screen at 50 create a keyframe and then at 60 just simply move this down so we play this you will see the hand moves in presses the button and then moves away okay so now we need to animate the whole scene as well the first thing we need to do is we need to connect all of these because since we're going to be pressing this button down over here, this whole bulb, the light, and all of this will move down as well once the person presses the button. So we need to connect these in a way so that everything moves at the same time, which in this case will be more of a rotation. So you will see that this Z rotation over here, this is the kind of thing that we will be looking for. So basically, for example, this light ray. If you go over to the light rays and then change the Z axis. When, when the person presses the button, it will slightly move and then 
it will come back to its position. So this is basically what we're going for. So in order to make sure that everything works in a connected way, we will connect all of these, all the angle rotations with the rotation of this light rays. But in order to do that in a more efficient way, let's go ahead and add transform nodes for all of these. So let's just move these up. And for each of these, I'm going to add a transform node. All right, so for the transform of the light rays, let's just pin this and call this the main transform so that we know which is the main one that we need to work with. And let's go over to the bulb and just simply First of all, go over to the main transformation and see how this is looking. So this is where it is moving. This is the pivot position. And from this, the whole angle is being rotated. So over at bulb, just go over here. And, and once you make sure that you have this main transform pinned and then go over to the transform tool, which is for the bulb. And then create, right click over here at angle and then select expression. Then connect this expression with the transform, main transform, which is basically in the angle. So connect this angle with this angle, the angle of the bulb, the transform node of the bulb. That angle we are connecting with the angle of the main transform node, basically, which is the light rays. So if we go over to main transform and then move the angle, you will see that the bulb is also moving exactly how when we are moving the light rays as well. So we'll do the same thing for this and we won't do the same thing for the top line. So just make sure that you don't do anything with the top line because we don't want that to animate at the moment. So let's just delete this transform node and let's go over to the switch line. This is the switch line and we will first of all set the pivot position. So move this right here right where the switch line is basically starting from. So now go ahead and connect, right click on the angle, select expression, and then once again, just like we did before, connect it with the angle of the main transform. And just to see if this works, let's move the angle, and you will see that the line is moving as well. So, so far so good. We'll do the same thing for the switch button. First of all, change the pivot position. And to change the pivot position to the same point where we did for the pivot position of the line. And now let's go ahead, create expression, connect it with the angle. And now let's see. So it's moving all together. So this is looking good. And we're, do, we're going to do the same thing for the lamp as well. So the lamp is where it needs to be. We don't need to change the pivot position at the moment. So let's just change, click on the angle, set expression, and then connect it with the angle. And let's go ahead and see if this works. So here you can see it works properly. All right, so now that we have done this, we just need to go ahead and Go back to the light rays, select these two points, and then move these a little bit out so that this can cover more area like this. So that when we rotate that, we don't lose the light rays from here. Okay, so now that we have this done, let's just see where this is animating. So here the hand comes in at 15 and then at 30 it presses it presses the switch so this is where we need the rotation so let's go ahead to the main transform create a keyframe at angle and then slightly move this to 35 at the 35 35th keyframe we will rotate this so we will rotate this slightly like this and then back to its original position at 40. So 
basically whatever the value was at 30 we're going to do at 40 as well so basically the angle zero and you will see that over here we are getting this space over here so what you can do is go to the lamp and then simply move this slightly like this and on this side as well and just make sure that this is out a bit so that the it looks like the light rays are coming from within the lamp okay so now let's see how this looks so if we play this here you will see we are animating now and one other thing is about the actual illumination so we need to illuminate this so basically at start this needs to be dark the light needs to be switched off and when the person switches we can then show that the light is turning on and the scene is being illuminated so over here let's go over to 30 once again and let's create a keyframe at 35 let's create a keyframe at 35 for all these colors so now we need to go over to the background first of all let's create a keyframe at this background and now we can also unpin this main transforms because we don't need this anymore let's go over to the bulb create a keyframe here top line just leave this as is switch line same thing switch button you can also leave this and at the lamp let's also create a keyframe okay and let's just move one keyframe back and then we can change this so first of all let's change the lamp we can make it a bit dark like this let's go over to the bulb and we can turn this off and let's go over to the light rays and make this dark so let's make this dark and the background so we also need to change the background at 35 create a keyframe and then one keyframe bit behind just go ahead and make this dark as well but let's not make this dark because we want to show that the hand is moving in so let's do something like this and copy the color but go over to the light rays and then let's change the color over here so basically do this for color the light rays so make sure that the background of the light rays and of the main background are the same at the start and the beginning so if we play this now and you will see how this looks so here you can see everything was dim and when the light got turned on you can see that we got our colors and we also have the animation as well so this was a basic way of showing you how you can do animations in davinci resolve 2d animations so i hope you like the video and i'll see you in the next one